Hi guys, Teresa Zarumpa here. I just wanted to actually make a video while I was doing this. I have um, a PC and monitor. When I turn both on, my PC powers up, my monitor powers up, although there is a no signal um, indicator that stays on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is this C battery here. Um, it'll be located in different areas depending on the type of PC you have or the age of your PC. So the first thing I'm going to actually try is to remove this battery um, because I'm going to just need two hands because you need to be really def uh, delicate with uh, the components in your monitor. I'm going to actually just remove this and then I will get back and show you. So mine had a clip here, and what I did was just kind of reached in, pushed the clip down, and now I can actually remove this battery. You're going to want to remove this battery for 15 minutes, and what this will do is reset the memory in the computer. So I'm going to do that. This is a regular three volt battery that's in mine. While I'm waiting for that, I'm actually going to pull up these boards here and um, actually clean the ends of them, make sure that there's no prongs or anything that have been bent, and actually clean up the entire area. So you'll want to get rid of all of the dust that's accumulated inside. Um, anyways, while you're in here, you want to make sure that everything is clean because it will actually improve functionality also. So nothing like a great running computer system, right? Now, depending on your PC, it'll be a little different. Mine has these little tabs that you can push down that will actually release them. I have seen some people recommend to um, clean them with an eraser. I just, however you choose to do it, just be careful um, with the little chips and everything like that. Just kind of clean up that area as careful as you can. All right, and after you've cleaned out your PC of any debris, you're going to want to check the diodes and any of the chips. The diodes should actually have flat surfaces. If these are bubbled over to the top or you see them leaking, they actually need to be replaced. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is just make sure that all your connectors are fitted. Just make sure that everything's on tight. Kinda of give the wires a little jiggle. Make sure that everything is straight and intact. And go along your whole PC and just kind of check everything. Look for anything that looks um, unhealthy, loose. Um, sometimes you might want to pull things up if they are loose just to make sure that the pins are straight. I just want to let you guys know too that you're actually doing this with me. So I am not a tech but I like to do my own work. Um, I don't rely on anybody. Oh, and I also want to let you know that while you're doing this, you're gonna wanna make sure that everything has been unplugged. Remove everything. And make sure that there's no power source running in. All right, so put in my battery, cleaned out the area, and actually, I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to actually plug everything back up, turn on the monitor, see what happens. Now that I've plugged everything back in, that can give it a power source. Let's get that powered on. I'm going to go back to my monitor. We're going to turn it on. Now it's going to, it's supposedly going to run through a new setup screen. Oh, I got Windows! All right, so before, um, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why you stopped on 
you had a no single uh, signal indicator, no screen activity. So listen, I am so excited. Like I said, you guys are doing this with me. Um, and it was really important for me because I got this um, PC from my old boss when we closed down our office, Natural Health and Chiropractic. He gave, um, he blessed me with this computer system that has thousands of dollars of software on it. So typically, I think a normal person would just say, oh, my PC is no good. My monitor is no good. Let's change all the wires. Let's add this and let's all that. But guys, look how simple. Oh, I'm so excited. So listen, I hope that you um, get benefit from this video. I hope it helps you tremendously because I'm just super excited. So anyways, I hope this has helped. Teresa Zaremba signing out. I thank you all for stopping in.